Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to gray out unused cells. Now I'm going to assume that you don't want to have to do this manually. You don't want to have to select all unused cells and then gray them out. You want some automated ways of doing this. Now I'm going to show you two methods. The first uses conditional formatting and the second uses a VBA macro. So with the first method, your first step is to select cell A1 and then to select all of the cells in the sheet. And you can do that by clicking up in the top left-hand corner there. Now, when we do that, although all cells are selected, only one is active, and that's cell A1, the first cell we selected. You can see it's active because it's got a white background. Now, the conditional formatting we're going to create will first apply to A1, the active cell, but then get copied to all the other cells that are selected. So to apply the conditional formatting, you need to be on the Home tab of your ribbon. You go to the Conditional Formatting button and then New Rule. In this dialog box, you need to select this rule type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then in this box, you need to type a formula. And this formula is going to use a function called isBlank. Now, is blank performs a logical test. It returns true if the cell it's referring to is blank, and it will return false if it's not blank. Now, the active cell is cell A1, so we put that in the brackets, and then we need to specify the format that we want to apply if this formula returns true. So we click on the Format button, go to the Fill tab, and I'm going to use this gray here. Click on OK and then click on OK. And all the cells that are not used now have that gray background. If I enter a value in a cell that is currently empty, it'll lose that gray background. OK, so that's the first method. Now with the second method, we're going to use a macro to hide the rows and columns that aren't being used. Now I've left a link in the description of this video to the code that you will need to use this method. So if you download that code, it's going to look like this. And what you need to do is select that code and then copy it. Then you right click on the sheet tab that you want to apply this code to, and you go to view code. And in this code window, you simply paste the code in. So control V. Now I'll briefly walk you through this code. The key thing to understand is the use of this, the used range. Now the used range in this sheet is from B3 to H8. So from the first column that's being used down to the last row that's being used. So the used range contains six rows and eight columns. But what I'm actually going to do is hide columns and rows outside of this area. So in this area, I have eight rows and eight columns. So what I'm doing here is I'm working out the row number of the first cell in the used range. Now, my row number is going to be three. And then I'm also working out the column number of the first cell in the used range, and that's going to be two. I've then assigned the row number to a variable called first row and the column number to a variable called first column. Now down here is where all the heavy lifting is done and it's where I'm using these variables to work out which columns to hide and which rows to hide. Now here I'm calculating the number of the first column that I want to hide and here it calculates the number of the last column in the sheet. Same down here, I'm calculating the number of the first row I want to hide in the sheet, and this calculates the number of the last row in the worksheet. And this code here is the code that hides the columns and then the rows. Now, the last thing I need to tell you about this code is that it doesn't need a button or a shortcut key to run. It's actually going to run automatically whenever we make a change within the worksheet. Let's see how this works. So I'll just close this Visual Basic Editor window. And what I'm going to do is just make a change to one of these numbers. And you can see that it automatically 
hides the rows and columns that aren't being used. Now I've included this button, the unhide button, and I'll show you how to create this later. That'll just unhide all the rows and columns. Let's say I put a value down here. You can see now it hides the relevant rows and columns, even though the used range has expanded. Okay, so how do you create this unhide button? Well, I'll go back to the Visual Basic Editor. So if we right click on this sheet tab and go to view code. Now the code for that button needs to be held in a module. And you can see I've created a module there. If you don't have a module in your project, just go to insert module and it'll create a module for you. But if I double click on this module that I've already got here, this is the code that will unhide all columns and rows in your worksheet. And I'll include this code in the download that's available in the description of this video. Now to get a button to run that particular code, what you would do is you'd need to go to the developer tab. And if you can't see that developer tab, just right click on one of the other tabs, go to customize the ribbon and make sure developer is ticked there. And then on the developer tab, go to insert and then under form control, select this option here, button, draw your button and then choose the unhide macro. You can then type in whatever text you like into this button. And you want to make sure you put it sort of towards the top of your sheet. So now if you click outside it, and let's say I add some data here, redefines which columns and rows are hidden, and then I can click on this button to unhide those rows and columns. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.